what has happened let me say it few words more that's all the tragedy of humanity at this time is that the whole focus of attention of humanity is on the acquired knowledge it has just discarded put the revealed knowledge sorry no attention to it had all this scientific and technological development been supplemented alongside with that the spiritual knowledge there would have been nothing bad but now what had happened is we have closed one eye of ours please we don't believe maybe can't say for sure that there is god maybe there is one but the universe is very much here we must apply our intellect to understand this universe we can't say whether there is some human soul or spirit also maybe there is some but the body is very much here so we have to look after it we can't say whether there is any life after death we can't say maybe but we can't say but this life is here it is real so we have to focus our attention to this life in this way for those of you who know the word dajjal and the antichrist in the west that big human catastrophe which is going to come one eyed dajjal according to our traditions and that is one eye allah gave us two eyes the spiritual knowledge and the material knowledge we have closed one and opened the other to the extent you know extreme extent this is the calamity now our knowledge has become destructive humanity is fearful at any time any accidental war can start and which can wipe out life from this planet the good old planet earth it can happen lastly allama iqbal allama iqbal's philosophy is called the philosophy of self khudi one of his disciples you know he asked him what's the source of your philosophy is it from nietzsche or bergson or some other person sayyid nazir niyazi was one of his disciples so to say iqbal said to him okay come to our at that time and i will dictate to you he told us in a, one of our quran conferences that i was very glad that the poet of the east will dictate to me the source of his philosophy of khudi philosophy of self so i went there very happily but he said take out quran from that self i became frustrated i thought he will say take out some history of philosophy book quran and he said that is surah al-hashr it is chapter number 59 and the ayah is 19 wala takunu kal ladina nasullaha fa ansahum anfusahum don't be like those who forgot allah and allah in return made them forgetful from their own selves wala takunu kal ladina nasullah don't become like those who forgot allah and what was the punishment for that from allah fa ansahu anfusahu he made them forgetful of their own self now what is that self is any human being forgetful 
of the needs of his animal body. If there is some disease, we run to the doctors. We wash our bodies with soaps and so, so on and so forth. Who is forgetful of his body, his animal being? So what is that self? Which human beings forget, ignore. That is that spiritual self. And let me quote finally. We may call it a verse from Upanishad, the Hindu scripture. Very beautiful. Man in his ignorance, ignorance, man in his ignorance identifies himself with the material sheets which encompass his real self. Real self is something else within you. And these are the material sheets, these bones and this flesh and this skin. These are the material sheets of that real sense hidden within you. But man in his ignorance identifies himself with the material sheets which encompass his real self. Thank you very much for the kind attention.